Hey everyone, it's Raphael from XX Raphael Productions, and today I'm going to show you how to play a sound effect during a collision in Unity. Okay, so this is simply um, a project that I have, so I'm going to go ahead and play it right now with the play button. And the goal is that if our yellow circle touches the green block, we want a sound effect to play, okay? So, we're going to put this volume up actually. So, as of right now, there is nothing, but we're going to do it. So. The goal is right over here, actually. The sound should play when the yellow circle touches the green block, alright? So, it's quite simple, and let's get right to it. So, I've already added in my sound effect here. It's called Explosion Sound, and let's go ahead and get right... Um, we're gonna set it up, so over here in the hierarchy, over here, right-click, and then um, go to Create Empty, and this will create an empty game object. And then, once you do this, you drag the explosion sound, or whatever effect you have, drag it into that empty game object. And that should add a component called audio source. Um, the only thing we need to change is this over here, that says play on awake. You want to make sure you untick that, because play on awake means it will play immediately as soon as your game loads up. And what we want to do is only play when we collide with the obstacles, so untick that. And then we're gonna call this game object whatever you want. I'll simply call mine source audio. Okay, so that's what we um named it as. And then afterwards, so right after that, if you've already coded your object to move, we're gonna go ahead and um open up my canvas. So this is the player, that is the yellow circle. And here I'm gonna open up my script. So movement of player, okay? That is a script that I used. Um, to code the object to move around. So this is where we'll also add the audio um, the audio source. So you, you can see that I already have the code over here. Ignore this, I actually listed down here because that is only the code for moving the object. So what we have to worry about is the code for the sound effects, all right? So what we're gonna do now, before we enter in some code though, we have to add in the audio source. So I'm gonna go in over here on top of the start um, method public audio source and we're going to call this audio player all right make sure that's saved and then right afterwards we're going to do the um code for when we have a collision okay so to do this do public void on collision enter 2d then co do collision 2d collision now, it is case sensitive, so please make sure you've entered that in correctly or else it will not work, alright? So, once we've got that down, um, we'll do an if statement, but before we do an if statement for this, we have to make sure that um, the tag has been set up. So, to do this, head over back to Unity, like the actual game engine. Uh, wait for that to open up. Alright, there we go. So, what we have to do now is kind of click on the um, obstacle or whatever like you're trying to collide with, and now we are going to make sure that the tag is all set up, all right? So, you, I already made my own tag scene transition, but you can add a new tag if you want to. I'm gonna go in and do that right now, just to make, um, to go through the process. Click the plus button down here. Now, if you have no extra tags, this should be empty, but you can click the plus symbol, and let's call this collision tag, all right? So simply, just like that, and then we will, um, set this to that tag, all right? So, you can see I have the new tag, the collision tag. Okay, so now once you do that, um, we can go ahead right back into Visual Studio Code and make sure it is case. Wait, I'm gonna get rid of this extra window. So, uh, the reason why I'm gonna make this like this is because I want to see the capitalization. So capital C and T it has to be like it's it is case sensitive as well. So now we can do our if statement. So do if collision dot game object dot tag equals equals and then we called ours collision tag so here now in the if statement um, whatever you called your audio source type audio player dot play oh wait, this should be wait capitalized I'm sorry the P should be capitalized before you can play that's why we have like an error message down here head over to um, your player so you can click on that, or you can find it over here in the canvas. It should highlight the um, circle. And then here in the movement of player script, which is the script we just edited, you can see audio um, player is empty. Right now it says none and then audio source. Now, 
We're going to drag in source audio right into that box over here. And then now we should be able to play the sound. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, j just make sure you've got that down first. Okay, uh, like um, when we entered this in earlier, we forgot to capitalize the P. So just make sure you fix that. And then now we can go ahead and play the game. So now this should give off a sound effect as we collide. All right, so I'll put the volume up and then... Yeah, there you go. Um, so it immediately, as soon as the circle touched the green block, it ex um, it played the explosion sound. All right, so yeah, that is simply how you do it in a collision. Um, if you want to see my other video where I kind of made a tutorial on how to play a sound effect using a button, I will link that down in the description below. But if you have any extra questions, always feel free to comment down below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon.